we did it. Oh freaking way. Good morning, ladies and gents. We have the sun coming back, I mean, coming up in the back here. And we're getting ready. It is a chilly morning. I'm getting excited. Braxton just needs to get his butt out of bed so he can rock and roll though. <laughs> just got to the glassing knob. Got up a little later than we uh, kind of wanted, but immediately glassed up. Our first two deer, we got a buck and a doe, mule deer. Just a little freak two point. Oh, Wes is getting excited over. So, who knows, we might have a dead deer here soon. If he gets any more excited. What do you think, Wes? I like the freaks, dude. They get me going. But, he's a yearling. I think he'll live. But, it's exciting just to get eyes on deer. Very first thing. guys that was a long stalk very slow basically hands and knees the whole time and uh, I got they caught me once when I was down on the bottom and uh, started blowing at me and I just didn't move for like 20 minutes and then they started chilling out again so I backed out and came around this hill and uh, I could have killed, could have killed other bucks, no doubt, in my mind. So, in my head, it's a good day for the first day. Pretty pumped. So, I'm gonna pick up. I dropped my shed that I found earlier. Pick that up, and then pick up Wes's. He glassed up, and then head over back to Wes. Head into camp, get some food. Some shut eye. Look at that. Oh gosh. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Just gorgeous desert country. Little tailgate dinner tonight. Little burgers. Burgers. After a good day of hunting, right? Yes, sir. Ooh. It just makes it feel right when you add a sound effect. Oh, for sure. Well, morning of day two. Just getting up in the canvas cutter. Stay pretty toasty. Added a 20 degree King's Camo. Just kidding. Gee, uh, 
sleeping bag. I got cold the previous night, but last night was nice and warm. <sighs> we got the truck started. Warming it up. We gotta roll these up. We're meeting up with Chase. We're gonna go to a new spot today. We're gonna see if we can find some different deer. See if we have any good luck, but... Oh, day two. Here we go. We have a very nice mule deer buck right over here. We have does all over around us pretty much. A lot of does over in here. But uh, I don't know what we're going to be doing right now. I feel like there's a buck over there. We should uh, maybe go after it. He's a nice 3 by 4 He's big. He's a good one. Take him. All right, we're just getting some breakfast. I've got Pop-Tarts and banana. Wes is making some oatmeal. Um, right behind me, up and over this hill, we've got that big three by four that we spotted first, right at first light. Now the sun's coming out, I think thermals are gonna be steady. Wind will know. We've got a chopper that keeps buzzing right over the top of him. And so we're gonna utilize that to our advantage to stock in on him, use that sound, but. Looked like he had, what, two, three does with him? And so, not a ton of deer, which should be nice. Get up above him and hopefully get uh, get a shot on him, because he's a freaking stud. All right, so Chase just glassed up a big coos buck in the same, same canyon that that mill deer is. So we've got 100 inch coos up there and 180 inch mill deer. Same drainage. Got the uh, all one set up on him right there. Right up top. So we got the cues up here, and then that mule deer's just crested over there. We're gonna drive down the road, get a better angle at these deer, and hopefully we can get him spotted up, bedded. And then we're gonna walk over to this middle hill and go kill him. That's again.
buck bedded towards us at about 120 yards. Um, it was nothing but an open, sunny face in between him and I. So after discussing a little bit with Wes, we decided that if I stayed as flat as possible on the stock and just moved utterly slow, we might have a chance at this buck. putting the entire stock in the video but it just kind of showcases exactly how it went down and what it takes to get in close to these deer there is about 12 to 15 deer on that face right here in front of me and so i'm just purposefully moving extremely slow and just trying to stay as low to the ground as possible being careful not to knock any rocks off this moment I knew that if I got on the back side of this juniper tree I could possibly have a shot at this buck. Little did I know this buck had already stood up 
and began feeding and pushing his doe around just around the corner. sitting at 80 yards from the buck. The buck walks out and unfortunately had a camera malfunction for the shot. Luckily, Wes had pulled his phone out and started filming with his phone and here's the shot. How that worked that stock was in freaking insane i don't know how i had deer staring at me the entire the entire freaking time and i just hugged that rock and just slid down as slow as i could dude <laughs> then i range him 98 and i'm like i'm not flinging 98 yards i'm gonna hold like i need it a little closer i range him at 90 and i'm like want closer so then he kept wrapping around this bush pushing his doe and so as soon as he went behind the bush there was other deer that for sure could have seen me somehow they didn't see me and so then i heard he made a, a 
good quick move while well, he's behind the bush. Joe walks out range here, 79.5, 80 yards. I'm like, money! Already dialed the 80. Freaking sight sitting there right now at 80. Shot, I hit him a little forward, but it smoked him. The wind is howling, so I was trying to hold steady. And he, what, what 30 yards and died? Yep. He's Dude, piled that up. Was epic. He's that piled was epic. He's piled up. Give me something, bro. Hell yeah, let me stand up. Give me a hug. Dude, that, that was Ooh. your buck from the very beginning. I told you, you spotted him, and you will get him again. Oh my gosh! Two stocks in a row. <laughs> yards the arxos is dialed just smoked my biggest buck to date we're just grabbing the packs we haven't been down to it we're walking down to it guys i am more than stoked chase is down at the buck right now he beat us too and he was 300 400 yards away at the truck here we go boys here we go we're getting it so pumped <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> Can you keep him in Arizona? Yeah. Zach. Even cooler. Second trophy of the day. Okay. Yeah. So I shot you and you asked me, where is he, buddy? Right I was looking here and, I, and then when you said by the big uh, juniper, I, I just turned and was like, oh crap, dude, he's right there. Look at that. There's my arrow. He's coming right here. Go past me. Zebra 175 with the new X10 Parallel Pros. I'm, don't mark my words, but I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to kill something with a zero. You can't even buy them yet. <sighs> and look at this blood trail, guys. Look, where is it? Right here. Look at this blood trail. Look. Look at that hair. That sever. Look at chopper flying over I used that like 10 times <laughs> as I was stalking every time they come over I could easily sneak a step or two bro <laughs> 
the man, the myth, the legend, Chase Howard helping us out, dude. He put us on two spots. First day we went, Wes and I, ourselves, and uh, got on a got on that big two. And then Chase texted and said, hey, hey, let's try this other spot. There was a there was a giant three point in there last year. Sure enough, I think this is him. Oh yeah, it's him. Here he is. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He'd split into fours on his backs. He's got sick eye guards. He got a little extra eye guard there, maybe an inch, and then something wanting to drop there. But Wes and I, Wes had a meeting at one o'clock. <laughs> so we sat and watched this deer from sun up until we didn't get leave the truck till what, two, 2.30? What time is it now? 4.30. 4.30, so for two and a half hours, we made it up the, up this way. He was bedded under this juniper down here. And I just, down that face, I just slowly made my way. You saw in the videos just freaking slipping and sliding down the rocks. A couple times I caught rocks that I was knocking down. <laughs> and uh, ranged him at 98. Like, I gotta get closer, I gotta get closer. Range him at 90, gotta get closer. And then he popped out at the 80 and we got him. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm unbelievably pumped. That is my biggest buck to date. Right there.